Hey, what is going on all my broskies? How are y'all doing today? My name is the Broman. Welcome back to another episode of the Dortmund Manager Mode thingy majiggy we got going on here. And the first game we have of this episode is against Borussia Mönchengladbach. If you guys remember an old episode, we got beat by these guys, but this time it was not going to be the same. And I'm just going to let you guys know, you guys probably saw by the title, then this episode, we actually do some good stuff. This episode is very good. Very nice episode. So for those of you guys who have been frustrated with me not winning a bunch of games, well, it's time that we made it up, isn't it? It's time that we made up. So uh, as you can see here, Immobile runs and rate this turn and scores. And then we send a nice through ball to none other than the great Marco Royce. Another little, you know, gentle little tap. Just rolls right beside the keeper. And Royce gets a goal, and as you can see at the bottom there, 11 goals league best. Royce is still the top scorer in the league. That's what I'm talking about. He's been doing really good for the team, and that does not change at all. Then here you guys see once again, we are on the attack. And this was weird because you guys know how good this uh, the computer is at defending, especially on world class. But in the first half here, he scored three goals, and there's Aubameyang getting his name on the score sheet. And actually, Aubameyang, you guys will see throughout this episode, he's actually really stepping it up. He really improves in this episode, and it's not just Royce carrying the team anymore. We got a really good attack force now, and as you can see at halftime, we go in with the 3-0 lead. So we're feeling pretty solid at halftime. Our team is playing nice and good together. That's what I'm talking about. In the second half, do a nice little play, pass to Aubameyang. Really bad shot, keeper makes a save, so unfortunately we don't go 4-0 up. But you see we just keep attacking, here's Marco Royce doing a little bit of dribbling. Doesn't get the ball completely taken away from him, cuts in, takes the nice rocket shot with his weak foot. Keeper pokes that away to the corner, and uh, as you can see right here, crossing it in. Get the header on net, oh, keeper makes another save. So that's pretty much how, uh, how corners go in this game. But guys, for, for those of you guys who have been just done... Just done with us losing. Look at that. Coming out on top. 3-0 victory over Borussia Mönchengladbach. Great win for the team. And uh, it really helps us, you know, climb the table a bit. Because, you know, we got one win. Extras, that's another three points. And as you can see there, they have 55% possession. So once again, you know, computer dominates possession. But we had way more shots. Way more shots. And here was a really good moment. The, the, the managers, or the... Uh, the the chairman of the directors basically emailed me saying I'm doing a good job as manager. So you know what? That boosted my confidence. And I think the team, after winning that game, felt really good. So right here, you just see me doing a little bit of lineup changes. I put Piszczek on right back instead of Grosskreutz because he just played two games straight. And Piszczek is our normal starter, so I just want to get him back on there. And I decided to play Gundogan. And we end up simulating this next match against Paderborn. So I was feeling, you know, we just won a game. I think our team's looking pretty solid for this match. And Paderborn's not the best team, so why not simulate it? As you guys can see here, we get a goal with Royce in the 30th minute. Royce coming through, and they end up tying immediately. I'm like, are you kidding me, guys? Come on. This can't happen. This cannot happen right now. <laughs> like, we cannot tie. And look at this. We're getting 70th minute. I'm getting really nervous, but then look who comes out with the goal for us. Immobile getting the nice goal, and that is how it ends. But Schmelzer picks up the injury. So, you know, it was bittersweet. You know, we did win 2-1. It was against a really bad team, though, so I was kind of hoping we would win. And uh, Schmelzer actually ended up recovering from his injury before this game. I don't think I played him, but that's just a little fun fact for you guys. So we're playing against Mainz in this game, and we wanted to get another win, see what we could do. And right here at the start, you see us get the penalty. And this was pretty awesome for me. For some reason, Courtois was selected to take all my like free kicks and I ended up changing that like later on but it was just kind of funny how Courtois was the guy to step up but I decided to go with Royce because he's very clinical and there you guys see Royce picks up his 13th goal for us really good solid season for him Immobile does a nice little cut in we get the rebound empty net but Aubameyang just can't get the shot off fast enough to score and here this corner kick does not end up being successful but that's an important kind of a strategy for a corner kick that will come back later on you guys will see it and you'll see what it ends up doing for us. So here you see they do a nice little bit of passing around. Absolutely destroy my defense. Slots it through to the guy. Gets the rebound. And uh, yeah, they end up scoring. And I just immediately, you know, skip the replay. Immobile going in. This is cheeky. Cheeky Immobile. Once again, if you guys remember his goal from a few episodes ago where he did that nice little cheeky chip. Once again, cheeky Italian. The Italian stallion Immobile. <laughs> just runs at the keeper. Runs back. Then does a nice little weak pass through a guy's legs and ends up just sliding it bottom corner. 
So that was a pretty nice cheeky goal by him once again. And as you guys can see at halftime here, we are in the lead once again. And, you know, that's feeling pretty good for us. Going into the second half with the lead is always a really good thing to have. But as you can see, they had 61% possession in that first half. And remember when I said that corner kick strategy was important? Look at that. Cross it to Aubameyang, gets us another corner. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Cross back to Aubameyang once again, right after. And he ends up heading that one right past the keeper. And then, as you can see, Kagawa just lifts him up because he finds the inner power from so much adrenaline and excitement after scoring that goal that he can just carry Aubameyang around the field. And here you guys see, once again, we do not let up at all. We send a nice little through ball to Aubameyang. Aubameyang, with his pace, beats the defender of the ball and slides it past the keeper into the bottom corner with a nice little, you know, weak little pass. But it still made it into the net. That's all that matters. And now we are up really good in this game. It is 4-1. And I feel like this kind of seals the deal at this point because, you know, it's the 85th minute. And here's another look at the goal. Look at that cheeky little slide. Is it around the keeper? And, uh, yeah, so... Once again, we score. Like, I was not expecting that at all. Marco Royce, out of all players to get a header, Marco Royce goes in. I was actually trying to cross that to Obama Yang, because you know how much that works. Cross it in, goes over Obama Yang, Royce jumps on that, gets the header, and we end up coming out on top 5-1 to one against Eintracht Frankfurt. I'm pretty sure I said Mainz. It's Frankfurt, I'm sorry. There you guys see once again, 59% possession for them. Like, the computer just ball hogs the whole game, but, you know, they still can't beat me. And this game here was against, I think this is Hanover. Is this Hanover? I really, yeah, it is Hanover, is it? No. This is Hertha. No, this isn't. I don't know who this is. Who is this? What is this team's name? I'm super sorry. <laughs> I forget. I forget their team name, but anyways, as you can see, Ob uh, Obama. Immobile scores in the third minute there for our team, and then we basically get to halftime winning one nothing. So, you know, I'm feeling pretty good still. And we score once again with Kagawa getting a nice little goal. Kagawa coming through, getting us the 2-0 lead. So I basically figure at this point, we have sealed the deal. And that is how the game finishes, 2-0. And as you guys can see, we were in 11th last episode. We won 4 straight, and now we are in 4th place. So making big progress, guys. I'll see you in the next episode, and hopefully we can keep up this momentum. So see you guys later, and peace out.